Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be giving you a demo of how to use the new Assistant API inside of uh, Python. It's taking me a little bit of time to get a basic understanding of it, but once you do, this is a really powerful API addition. So before we get into the code, I'll take you through what the Assistant API does and introduce you to some of the concepts you need to know about Assistant API and how they're useful and work together. So I suggest going to OpenAI's uh, Assistant Overview documentation. I'll leave a link in the description. So the general steps we're going to be following is one, we're going to create an assistant like this. Uh, two, we're going to create a thread. And the way to think of threads are, if I start a new chat right now, you can think of this as kind of like a new thread. So that's the idea of threads. And the cool thing about threads is there's no size limit so you can send as many messages as you want. OpenAI is just going to do the best job to fit as much of that inside of its context window that's related. So that's pretty cool because it abstracts a lot of the uh, previous work I would have to do with like Langchain to try and fit in the correct context. So then you have message. So you add a message to a thread and you'd have the content of the message. The role would be user and you can do other cool things in there like add in files, which we'll get into. Next, you need to run the assistant. So this makes the assistant read the thread and it'll kind of decide how best to respond. So then you have this step where you can check the status. I don't actually think I would do this in my code. But uh, something to be aware of because runs do take some time. It's not like I've noticed it's not immediate. And then, I mean, the last thing is just to get the reply. All right, so without further ado, let's um, get into the code. So I have a new Jupyter notebook here. And uh, the first thing I suggest doing is you might already have OpenAI installed but I suggest upgrading OpenAI. All right, so my requirements are all satisfied. Um, the next thing we need to do is import OpenAI and then also add in your API key right here. All right, so go get your own API key. And uh, by the way, that would be inside of your OpenAI account, go into API keys and you'll find all your API keys here and just get whatever your API key is. All right, so next we're going to create that assistant. So we'll have assistant client beta assistance dot create. And now we need to put in some, pass in some parameters inside of here. So first is we need to give it a name. So I want to make some sort of like YouTube assistant. All right now we'll just write some instructions. So you help. Yeah, so, you know, write an instruction just telling it like, what, what is it, you know, what, what it does. All right, next we need tools. So we'll do type, and then we'll add in the type uh, retrieval we're going to use, All right? And we're going to use model too. So we're gonna use this GPT for 1106 preview. Pretty cool, it has over 100K um, tokens, which is a big deal. Solves a lot of the issues had before building tools with the like context window, 100K is, 120k something like that it's it's a lot All right so you can see i'm in my open ai account under assistance and you can see i have no assistance right now All right so if i run this code and we refresh assistance we can see right here that our youtube assistant is here so you can edit this after creating the youtube assistant so you can see we just have retrieval right now enabled like we set it up, but I actually want code interpreter as well. So let's just add that and save it as well. You can also add in files here as well. You can do it programmatically too. I actually don't want to add the files here. I want to do it differently where I add files in the messages the user sends. All right, so next thing we need to do is create a thread. So we'll do thread client beta threads.create. And we'll go ahead and print out that thread. All right, so you see we have a thread ID here. All right, so after we create our thread, what we need to do is create a message. So first we need to set thread ID, and that will just be equal to thread dot ID. All right, so that gets the thread we just created. We need a role, and we need for role we want user. And then we need the content that it's going to be replying to. 
I'll be careful with your capitalization. It should be a lowercase user. There we go. All right, now that we have the message, we need to do the run. So we have a few variables we need here. We need assistant ID. Ah, uh, yes, and we need thread ID as well. Okay, so we should be able to run that. All right, and then we'll get the list of messages. So we'll do that message.list thing. We'll run this. All right, and then last thing, I'm going to have this uh, for loop to go through all the messages. All this for loop, go through all the messages. I only want to show the messages with the role assistant. Uh, so the bot messages, if you take this out, will show both the user and bot messages, which is fine. And then we have this last piece, which is going to show the contents of the message. So let's go ahead and run that. So it says, oh, oh I'm an AI. I don't have feelings, but I'm ready uh, and functioning properly. How can I assist you? All right, great. So it's working, but um, let's take this a step further and let me show you how to now create a message with the file in it. All right, so you need to make um, you need to make this client files .create, and this uploads the file to OpenAI. So, so I have this uh, video transcript I saved from earlier. Very easy to save a YouTube transcript. Uh, you just need the video ID, and you can use uh, look up YouTube APIs. We run this. We just save that file to OpenAI. So if I wrote file .id, you can see there we go. There's that files ID. So I mean, what we want to do. Let's take this exact same message variable from earlier. So the thing we're going to be adding is file IDs, and that's going to be equal to file.id. So now let's run this. All right, so we ran the message, and we need to, again, run the exact same code from earlier, this run. You can just copy and paste, or you can just run that same cell again. All right, and then we need to run the messages list. And then last thing that we need to run this, uh, the message, the list of messages again. All right, so you can see nothing appears here. This is just to do with the run not being finished. You know how we uh, skip that run status check. So it's probably still running, so we can run it again. And there we go. All right, so it actually looks like not quite the answer I was hoping to get. All right, I actually don't know what the issue was. I ran this quite a few times but I copied a few of my code blocks from uh, earlier when it was working and it seems like it got fixed because it's now able to read the uh, transcripts here. Yeah, so this was an entire transcript from uh, Andrew Huberman, YouTuber podcast, and you can see it provides info on the key points from that transcript. And yeah, so it's working. Uh, I'm going to provide all of this code in the description, like a link to GitHub page with it. So you can go ahead, copy and paste it. Just You'll just need to put your own API key in here. And you can see if we go into files, you can see here are the files I uploaded. And you can see the assistant here, which you can always edit. You, I actually edited the instructions a bit. And uh, I suggest reading all of the documentation. That's it. I hope this helped to get you started with the Assistant API.